And welcome back. Springfield's Culture Fest is next weekend over on Commercial Street. And here with everything you need to know are Mitch and Hamid. Guys, thanks for being here. How are things? So good. We're doing so yeah, well. Hamid? We're doing well. Doing great. Right. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. you're here to talk about Culture Fest. But before we get into Culture Fest, what is your like actual affiliation with um, this event? So Hamid and I work for the International Institute of Southwest Missouri, which is a nonprofit that resettles refugees in local areas. And so we resettle refugees in the Ozarks. Together with the C Street City Market, we are, we've come together to spearhead uh, Culture Fest this year. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what do people need to know about Culture Fest then? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So you, should, you should come. Other thing that we need to know. Yes. So it's a, good, it's a great event. Uh, we have uh, tons of vendors that come out. So it's the C Street City Market. So it's their 40 plus vendors that are there. Plus we have another 50 vendors that are local area vendors uh, that uh, have food, that have uh, different services to offer, all sorts of crafts and things like that of a variety of both local uh, artisans and also uh, international artisans. How long has it been going on? This is our third year. Uh, we had our first year, and then, as with many things, COVID sort of disrupted the uh, yeah. the whole apple cart <laughs> there. Uh, and so last year was our kind of bounce back in, and then this year we're looking for a, a big event. Very cool. Now, is there anything else um, besides crafters that we can expect there, whether it be like international food or musicians or performers or anything like that? All of those things. All those things. All okay, those so things. dive into that. Tell me about now, it. Now, Hamid, you were there last year for Culture yeah. Fest. Tell me what you what you really liked about it. Last year was my first year when I was seeing like it was different. Uh, if you see in the music, music was not mm -hmm. only like a U.S. American music. It was different, like Indian music, like who's famous Bollywood. And there was like Indian music was there, and it's not only food about U.S. food. Like it was different countries' food, like mm -hmm. uh, Japanese food. Uh, uh, Swahili or like different countries African mm -hmm. foods um, but uh, with that there was a lot of different cultures they were selling their t-shirts they were putting some things on mm -hmm. the t they printed yeah. something on their t-shirts and they were selling their things and it was a different variety of things like uh, we, we, we sold like uh, yogurt okay. and also oh, yeah. mango lassi you mm -hmm. were doing their thing and it was so nice like it was a great experience last year. Yeah, I think the coolest thing about this event is like you don't have to travel the world to do these things. You could and that would be great, but you guys bring it right here to the mm -hmm. local community, which is really cool. So what else can you tease for me that's maybe new this year that people can look forward to? So as uh, the general theme is very much the similar in that we're having, uh, you know, dancing and we'll have music, lots of different local artists. It's amazing how diverse our area of the Ozarks is or just yeah. the Ozarks is. We think of it as sometimes being very insular, but it's incredibly rich and it's incredibly uh, diverse. Uh, so there'll be music, there'll be uh, uh, things for kids. We have uh, the library showing up to do story times, uh, doing books on refugees, doing books on uh, unity and diversity and things like that. Uh, we've got uh, tons of artisans that'll be there. It's just going to be a, a really eclectic and wonderful, wonderful day. Lots of vendors. We have the 40 vendors from the C Street Market plus another 50 that are coming in. So it's just going to be a really rich cornucopia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go, Go ahead. ahead. No, you're good. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Culture Fest? It, after Hamid, uh, I would probably say <laughs> it's the. Uh, I'd say it's the music. I just I love the music. I love being out there. I love hearing that different beats and different things that make you think differently about the music. Mm. That's probably my favorite thing. Yeah, absolutely. Hamid, what would you say? Uh, I think um, music is good, and also the good thing is in the uh, Culture Fest is knowing the other cultures, mm. familiarizing that lots of people they cannot travel other places, not other countries, but they, if you go there, they can know some a uh, little bit about the different cultures. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, final question for you. Aside from the things that we've maybe already said, why do you think this event is so important for the people here in this area? I think diversity enriches us all. It makes you think differently. It gives you a different perspective. You can be mm -hmm. so insular and say, this is who I am. This is what I believe in where I'm at, which is great, but giving you a, a different flavor of life. Humans are so rich. Humans yeah. are so wonderful. Humans are so diverse. Being able to experience that and share with, with that with other people is just, a, I think, is a wonderful thing and really brings us together. Yeah, it's super important. All right, you guys, if people want more information about Culture Fest, how can they get a hold of you or how can they get that? You can go to our Facebook page, which is Springfield Culture Fest. You can go to the International Institute of Southwest Missouri, we're there. Uh, you can go to the website, sgfculturefest.com. So you can pretty much find it if you type in Culture Fest in Springfield. We're right there for you. It's a free event. It's family friendly. It's a, it's a really good, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, it sounds like it. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, both for being here. This is super thank exciting. We're thank looking for forward to it. Thank yes, you so absolutely. Much. Thank All you. right. Well, coming up next, another performance from the Hooked Songwriting Contest Top 10. Caleb Williams is here after the break.